All right, so now after we've made our changes, I'm just going to recache our, this over here. And while that recaches, I'm just going to turn it off up here at the blood spurts. And I'm going to just flip book everything else. All right, so we finished flip booking this. And so let's see if our blood boils. Yay. That looks, that's looking way better. And I think the blood that's falling is also a bit slower as well. So that's fantastic. It's looking good. And so now we're on our final step of getting those blood spurts to work. Um, the particles for that have now finally finished caching out. So we're going to cache out, uh, once again, our particle fluid surface. And we're going to check out our particles. So we're going to play this back. That looks like it's going a lot slower, which is fantastic. Cool, that's looking really promising. So let's wait for this final cache to cook out and we'll be good to go. Alrighty, so this is our final result where we've got some like eating blood kind of explosions, some drips, and some general kind of emission of blood splatter. And then it kind of fades up as it goes up the face. If I, ha I could go back and revisit this, I think I'd make the blood pulses just gradually decrease by decreasing the particle uh, emission amount per over time. Um, so there's a lot of spurts and then very little to just fix the timing because it looks a little bit off to me, but I think this is a good enough for now. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of how to build this effect and I will see you in the next UDE tutorial. Bye!